everyone, my name is Jamie Horde. I'm the founder of Horderly Professional Organizing and I just redid my two small closets in my master bedroom with the Container Stores Alpha system and the Container Stores Closet products. So I'm going to give you a little tour of each of them. I call this my sweater closet. It's also holding um, my travel items and my work items. So here we've got all of my sweaters, all facing one direction. I have them sorted by, these are like my cardigans, open sweaters, and these are like my pullover sweaters. We usually fold these on a shelf for clients or fold them in a drawer. I could have easily used maybe like a thicker hanger, like a wooden hanger. We're using the Alpha system here, super flexible system. If I wanted to fold my sweaters in the future, I could have easily switched this out to all shelving. I can adjust this up and down if I wanted to. And we're also using one of our favorites, the Kiva bin with the bin clip labels from the container store as well. I've got my suitcase on the bottom. I'm actually nesting a few other bags in there, like my weekender bags. I've got a bin full of travel items like my travel bag, a bin full of swimsuits, two bins of our container store reusable bags. I'm grabbing these all the time, restocking my bag. Up top here, a bin full of items for my work bag that I'm always restocking, some new employee merch, and then two bins up top, one of label tape that I'm always restocking my bag with, and extra label makers that I'm giving to new employees, that kind of thing. You can always utilize behind the door space. You could um, put a shoe bag here. Say I wanted to store my shoes in this closet as well, I could utilize this. Uh, you could hang hooks and put your bags here or something like that. This is also a very deep closet, so I could utilize the wall space here if I wanted to, put hooks. But most importantly, utilize the height that you have. So put shelving um, all the way up. Say I really needed to maximize this space, I could even go higher up here with maybe stackable bins or something like that. Okay, so now let's head over to my second closet, which is my shirt closet. Okay, so here's my t-shirt closet. So I personally hang almost all of my clothes. We don't usually set clients up this way. It's really just a personal preference. And in this closet, I have my tops. So I've got on the bottom here, my long sleeve, just uh, sorted by color, so dark to light. And then I've got my pants that I hang. On the top here, I've got my short sleeve tops. I've got my work tops, my workout tops I even hang, and my sleeveless tops. Um, again, everything within category is by color, dark to light, everything facing one way. I'm using the black slim velvet hangers from the container store, our favorite. Before I redid this closet, I had one bar, one shelf, but I needed the extra hanging space. So what we did is added a double hang here for extra hanging. So I was excited that there was some space left up here um, where I could put some extra bins up high. Anything that we put up high like this are items that aren't used as often. So that's like a non-prime real estate area. I'm rarely grabbing what's in those, so those are able to live up high. So this shelf, um, because we have the hanging above it, we want to keep this clear. So I'm not going to put anything here. And we usually teach clients that as well, things like this. Um, otherwise, that's just going to become a landing spot for anything and things are going to get lost and piled up. Based on like the layout of our space, um, we only have the one dresser that we share. So I'm a little limited on drawer space. I easily could have added like drawers in this closet, but again, I prefer to hang things. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed a tour of my two small closets and I hope you got some small closet tips. Feel free to comment uh, in the messages any of your favorite small closet tips. Follow Horderly on Instagram for more inspiration. Like and subscribe to GH for more tips.